All right, now we're going to look at Blender, how to flip a model and how to repair a model. So in order for this to work, we are going to have our keyboard shortcuts on. So you go to File, User Preferences. It's called Welsh Keyboard. You can import your key configuration file. This can be found in the Workflow sheet. or I'll put a link in the back of this video, like down below. Then I'm going to be choosing Maya and closing this out. You can save this also, that way it always loads this way. Alright, so using Alt, we can rotate around the model with the left mouse button. Alt middle mouse button and alt right mouse button. We don't need to navigate too much at first, we're just repairing this model. This model marks um, a perfect example of, let's say it doesn't have a flat bottom and it's too tall. Okay. So in order to repair this, let's go to N on the keyboard, N is in Nancy. We we'll want to rotate the model. You can click on this button. In future, you can also hit E on the keyboard. So E is that one. This is W, E, and R. What I'm going to do is rotate this model a little this way. And then I'm going to type in a degree of, let's say, 90. This will flatten out the object. Now at the bottom here, this would never stick to the bed, so a way to, to make a model flat at the bottom is we boolean it. Okay, So I'll show you how to boolean it. That's how you flip something. And incidentally, let's say you just need to flip something. At this point, you can just go Apply, Rotation and Scale, File, Export, Still, and you would have your new Still file. If you need to repair the bottom of an object, here's how you do that. In Object Mode, you create a cube. Click R on the keyboard. And by using this manipulator right here, we can make the cube larger. You'll need to make the cube large enough to encompass your item. W on the keyboard is move. So we're going to move this item down. Move the item down so that it is clipping the model at its greatest turn. So right here, right around here is its greatest girth. Then, over here, we understand what this cube is called. It's called cube 01. Click on your original item go to the wrench, drop this down to boolean. Choose difference. And then choose cube 01. Now you don't see much of a change, but let's hit apply. Click on this one and let's delete it. You now have an object with a very flat bottom. Of course that does change your design a little bit, but let's say it's just a slight bit. That's how you repair it, so it has a flat bottom. And now you can just export still.
and export it wherever you need it. It now needs to be put into NetFab in order to repair anything strange on the model. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, move on to the workflow.